I'm Gaston Devery and I'm the Army Polo coach. I've been so for the last 10 years. Polo is incredibly addictive. It, we used to say that it's an addiction that is only cured by death or bankruptcy. Trust me, it's only cured by death nowadays. I mean, even I have many bankrupt polo players around. <laughs> ground was fantastic. I was here last year and the, the improvement has been vast. Uh, the ground is wider, it's super well kept. You can hit the ball beautifully in it, so it's, it's been a very pleasant surprise. The most important thing in this kind of things is that uh, it, it ends up being a good game. Both teams hopefully will play well, very well, if we're lucky, and the best team will win. My name is Colonel Simon Ledger. I am the director of British Army Polo. And this is our eighth visit to India. And I'm very proud to bring my team back here for the third time to this wonderful club, La Pegasus. But this year, wow, I can't believe it. The change is fantastic. And clearly uh, the involvement of Sanjay Jindal, uh, the great entrepreneur from uh, Mumbai has made a huge investment here and the ground is, is, is amazing. The ponies so much better and the hospitality as of tonight uh, fantastic and we're very very fortunate to be here and have the opportunity to play the Indian Armed Forces tomorrow. This is without doubt the best polo ground I have seen in India. It is simply amazing and my young team all said to me if only we had grounds like this in every club in England. And I really mean that. And having walked the ground today, I'm so impressed. Hi, my name's uh, Lieutenant Rishi Alawalia. Uh, I'm a cavalry officer in the British Army, and uh, I'm lucky enough to be here playing polo. Uh, at La Pegasus. So this is my first time to Delhi and it, it's been so much fun already. The, um, in terms of the polo setup, we're so privileged to be playing here. The ground's fantastic, the horses have been great, the hospitality is absolutely incredible. The large clubhouse, the TV that's in there, like even if you don't play polo, that's all fantastic. And then for me as a polo player, everything else like the pitch and the horses is all a bonus. So I've had a great time here. Obviously, the night before the big match, I'm quite nervous uh, as the junior player on the on the team. But um, again, we'll, we'll give it our best shot. We know the uh, the opposition have got some strong players, um, but we're lucky we've got great horses and we're playing on a great pitch, which is always a treat for us. Hey, I'm Colonel uh, Dickie Winchester. I'm uh, a regimental colonel of the uh, Royal Artillery Reserves but I'm a former regular, 37 years in the regular army, and uh, I'm a former commandant of the School of Artillery. This is the first time I've been to this ground, and it's in immaculate condition. It's far better than I expected. The horses are of a standard I, I haven't seen before for a visiting team. It's very nervous for a visiting team when you first see the ponies you're going to play on. Every time each player practiced on their pony, you should do this with this pony, you should do that with that pony. Wear spurs with that one, and this is the difficulty with that. You don't get this normally. And it's a very personal service from experts who know their own ponies. We like to encourage youngsters in the army. They are naturally talented, which irritates me a lot because I have to practice an awful lot to get anywhere close to them. We've got three players here who are young officers, who are the future in the army and in 10 years time, 20 years time, hopefully 30 years time, they'll be back here bringing their own teams. I think we have got to prevent your best players from playing well. <laughs> so on behalf of us all, thank you for your hospitality, Tarot, and please convey my thanks to Sanjay Jindal. And we look forward to, as Churchill said, ladies and gentlemen, Polo, is war without the bloodshed. I raise my cap to La Pegasus Polo Club and all the team here, and thank you very much for your hospitality tonight. And we look forward to tomorrow! Absolutely!
playing on your own turf, your own horses, and your own team, your own rhythm, you have an advantage. But uh, but yeah, no, it's the same. I did. They, they did very well. The ground was very good. We had a chance to stick and ball horses for two days. That's normally a luxury. So I mean, we we're not happy we lost, of course, but I I can't fault it. It was it was great. I mean, it was great, and we're happy. This is one of the best of going on tour and so on. This is a lovely experience. surrounded by abstract art. I cannot quite believe what I am seeing, the way it's transformed over these past two years. Full of people, so smart, so enjoyable. Where do you think this could go further? Oh my goodness, I think there's no boundaries. I mean, the polo pitch has got a, a boundary pitch. There seems to be nowhere you can't go. It looks so smart. It brought in a lot of people, people who haven't seen the game before. I think even you, possibly. Well, well, I don't know, you've seen third. before. Third, <laughs> yeah. people who are still learning the game. Uh, and learning to enjoy it and understand the subtleties. Uh, you get it uh, all around this wonderful country uh, in India, but I think this is a perfect and a really good advert for what you can do. Okay, so I am with the Argentine ambassador now, and I'd really like to ask him how his experience was today at the Latex. Well, it was uh, for me my first time coming here to this uh, field. Um, let me congratulate La Pegasus for uh, what they've done here. It's a great location and uh, we are looking forward to the games that uh, the team Argentina is going to be playing in January. Hello, my name is uh, Lieutenant Prichel Awalier. I'm lucky enough to be playing Pele here uh, with the British Army Pele team. Well, his name's Rishi, he's apparently an Indian, but he doesn't look Indian. <laughs> so how was the experience today? So much fun. Well, it, we lost badly, um, but there's no excuses. The horses were great, the ground was great, 
Um, unfortunately, the opposition are also great as well and better than us. So we got taught a thing or two about polo. So the ground's awesome. Um, yep. The parties afterwards are pretty good as well. Um, so I'm pretty happy. So the ground's cool because it's really fast. You, the ball travels. There's nothing, especially like grounds in the UK, because they're always a bit softer and muddier. The ball doesn't travel very fast. But here, the, the, the ground's a nice sort of uh, solidity and the ball just flies, which makes for good, fast polo. How did you like the hospitality? Indian hospitality. I'm, aware, I'm so full of incredible food and I've been fed and watered to my heart's content. Last night was incredible, tonight so much fun. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to go back to England, overweight and uh, full of really good food <laughs> well, and that's drink. just how it is in India. You and we're not you know My name is Julio Benzadon, I am from Argentina. I am a polo umpire. I've been here for 40 days. I like your country, it's very nice. People are very nice too. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, that's very sweet. What do you think of La Pegasus? This field, this ground is excellent. The, the grass is different than the other, than the other grounds. I, I think the people who play today, I enjoy more than in another field because no, because this field is easy to, to hit the ball. Yeah. Because don't jump, the ball is quiet, so it's easy to play. Right. They have to play more more matches here. My name is 61st Cavalry, which is the only mounted regiment in the world, and I'm playing with plus five. Yeah, we had a beautiful game today, a lovely ground, lovely setting, and uh, we had a very competitive uh, British Army team, which is the thing here. And they had a very, uh, they're very good riders, strong players, and we managed to win, but it was a very equally and very hard fought game. And I see it like I played uh, here for the first time, but the ground uh, is playing superbly well, and it can't get better. Like the, the turf is exceed, exceedingly good, and uh, it, it is one of the best grounds that I have played in India recently. The ground, this is uh, the best that you can get, because especially in India, and the turf is really nice. And people who have worked behind the uh, behind the scene really, I like to compliment them. They've done a really, really Good job. Oh, it was really good. The British players are not regular players, but they put up a good show and they played strange ponies and they were playing against one of the most experienced players in India and uh, his deputy. So, so I think they did well. It was a good game. Oh, it was really good. I don't think I've met a lot of Britishers and the Americans and the Singaporeans. They said they've never seen a show like this in their lives. Okay. And at La Pegasus, they're just getting started. Just thanks to Sanjay and his, uh, his vision that we are we are slowly going where we want to take Indian polo and then we're going to rock it. I'm very sure. So the good thing about this year's edition of the British High Commissioner's Cup was that it also uh, it marks the 100 years of the end of the First World War. And as you know, uh, Britain is trying to reciprocate India's uh, contribution to the armed forces in the First World War. So I think us hosting the British Army team here, the like Indian Army team, is going to go a long way to ending our friendship with the British. The High Commissioner is very, very happy with it. He's so happy with it, I can't tell you. I'm Lefinga Vishal Chauhan. Uh, I'm from the 61st Cavalry and play the Handicap of Plus 4. And how was the experience? Oh, that's a lovely, game? Oh, lovely ground, phenomenal atmosphere, good spectators, and I hope uh, it was a good game for the spectators as well. Oh, it was, for sure. Thank you very much for entertaining us today. Uh, what do you think of La Pegasus? La Pegasus is one thing which is getting Polo back on the circuit, and I'm really proud of them, you know, because getting the Argentine to play here. And, they, and sport requires a lot of people like Pegasus, Sanjay Jindal, and it's we're really fortunate to have him. Yeah. And this sport has, because this sport originated in India, Manipur, and, and the British just took it all over the world. So it, the sport needs to be revived. And it's not that difficult. I mean, there are loads of centers all around where, where polo, people think it's too expensive, but it's not really expensive. If you have a, if you have the knack of playing polo, I think anybody can play polo. And it's the love of the horses that, and the passion of our horses that, that, that we play, still play for. You know that this is the 100 years of Haifa. And uh, the Haifa was the first World War where the last mounted cavalry chart took place. And it's always good to have the British Army because we were still under them and we're fighting for them. So it's a good, good collaboration having them play against the Indian Army. And, and I hope this becomes an annual event. I am Anandar Sethi. I'm the founder editor of Lapolo magazine. Ah, Pegasus is a ray of hope, I would say. That. <laughs> really? You know, you know that it is good for the such people to come on board and in polo, so that polo can flourish and more uh, new centers can be opened up. So it's a, it's a welcoming note. Basically, it's a welcoming move by Sanjay. What do you think of our hospitality? Did you stay well there? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs>